Hello everybody, Gear here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today, again, we are going to be looking at some of the stuff I built. And, yes, I have built a bunch of stuff, but I am going to kind of break it up into three episodes. I'll do that one episode, that one episode, and I'll be doing this in these one episode. I am going to start with these things that I've built. So, look forward to those two in the next episodes. And if you're wondering, this is just my bed where I sleep. And under here is just a command block to make it day. So, and I had one toggle downfall right there, but it doesn't matter. Let's go to the redstone stuff. So, this, these are just kind of some traps and stuff that I built. So, um, let's take a look at this first one. It might look really huge, but really, I just kind of made it huge because I wanted it to look sort of like a building. So, yep, so if we go in here, there's just a pressure plate. Well... Someone normal might think, oh, hey, look, it's pressure plate. Maybe it opens a door or something. But really, if you walk through, bam, anvil. And, of course, this won't really kill you. It'll scare the person for sure. So, yep. And as you can see, uh, whenever you step on the pressure plate, that opens right there. So, and if you want to re uh, like refill it with another anvil, just take an anvil. Sorry, my nose is a little bit stuffed up. Walk up here. You see this position right here. Just click an anvil there, and you're set. Next time someone walks over that pressure plate, bam, it falls. So, real quick, I'll show you guys the redstone. So, let's look behind here. Shouldn't have broke that part. But anyway, all it is is I've got redstone under here that connects up till here. Goes underground there. You probably can't see it. Goes up here. And I've got a repeater running to this wood, and that'll turn the torch off every time you step on it. So, the piston will go in, and it will stop like go in and will fall and it'll go back and that's why you got to refill it so that is one of the traps so um pretty easy to build and let's move on to the next one what is up guys well um yep i just showed you how that works and here i've got tightly compacted two little trap designs that i will be showing you so this one's pretty self-explanatory there's trap doors and pressure plates and if you're someone that's just running through and not noticing what's under you you'll probably fall in and you will die because the only way to get out is to fly out or place a block under you but you'll be dead so really this is if someone falls in all their stuff is gone and they're dead like no questions asked if you fall in you're dead unless you have hacks or something you're not getting out of this but there is a little trick if you are the maker of this, um, well, actually, before I explain that, I should tell you something is, what I did is I placed the um, trap doors on the wall over there. So if I step on it, see it goes in like that. I didn't put it right here because um, it just opened and you fall through the middle. But a lot of times you could just run and not get hit. But here's the trick with the maker is if someone's stupid and just runs through, they will fall in like this. But... If you run onto the side, you can walk on it. So, really, it's just a trap. If you're running from someone, you go through here, go on the side, you won't fall in. But the person will stupidly run through the middle, fall in, die, bam, there you go. So, this is the second design. This is just a little design to screw with your friends. So, let's say you're just running through. I mean, it doesn't look too suspicious, except these stupid pressure plates, but... I mean, you don't know which one's going to trap you, and dead giveaway, this one will because that. But either way, what happens is if you walk or run through, bam, you get sent to lava for no apparent reason. So probably if you get sent in this lava, you will die. Not always, but I'm sure you'll go down a little hearts, and then from here you can just pop, 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 kill them. So how this works is uh, you have a pressure plate right here, and that activates this, will which will push you up. And push you through the tra trap <laughs> trap door and push you into the lava. And from there, you'll die. Pretty self-explanatory. Really easy to build. And really, the only part is you need to put just lava and blocks around it so it does not escape. So, yep. That is two little designs. And let's go to the last design of the day. And then all that we'll do later. So, <laughs> you guys will have to wait for that. But this design really is... This design kind of disappointed me in a way because... What I originally did was put harming potions everywhere. So, yep. Um, but th there, there was a problem with that. The problem with that was is um, 
if you get fired with 10 splash potions at a time, it'll only hurt you with about one. So, I walked through and I got the damage of only one potion, which kind of sucked. So, really, this is more of a helpful thing than a trap. So, as you can see, strength, speed, whatever, and you just fill them all up. And if you run through, bam, you get splashed and you have a bunch of them. So, yep. Uh, I think I actually missed a couple, maybe. Some of them are, are not working for some reason. Either way, um, just I'll show you guys the redstone. And it's kind of like a duplicate. duplicate. Oh, there's bats in there. It's Batman. Batman, this is his secret layer. But really, what happens is, if you put redstone under this um, blah, blah, blah dispenser, and then you bring it up over here, you use these slabs to get it up and you as you guys know if you do this it will actually go up on the slab so you just bring it up to this one go up and then you bring it up to this one and this one and this one and then you do the exact same thing you just go through here bring it up do all that and then there you go you have a potion dispenser of harming whichever one you want so guys thank you for watching this has been trap designs <laughs> so i'll see you guys later this has been aqua gear Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.